same setup as the spare ribs. The only difference, no smoke pouch. Right side on, left side off. All the heat's coming from the right side and it's just gonna slowly break down the pork ribs and make them nice and tender. And the drip tray is so important. It stops all the flare ups, there's no fire and you just get a really nice cook. 220 for about the first hour, which gives me enough time to make a silky smooth peachy barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is a little different from the last barbecue sauce. The last one had like 16 ingredients in it. This one has 11, and this is optional as well. Peach schnapps. I stole this from my little sister. Don't tell anyone. So to pimp up the peach flavor, a little sweet canned peaches. Hit it! So fly when the place no Cadillac frill. Thump in the trunk, I take the red pill. Still, I got to hit this. Flip this soon, so step out my way, girl. Give me some room. I got the for the paddock, get bacon in the van. Ghost to coast shows, grease backs in hand. I rock a microphone like you know I can. And then I jet out the back, no, bring it back again. Rossi, now that that's my name, you can try to talk to me. Hot damn! The allspice in the peaches are really, really energetic. And how classic is pork and fruit? I just want to slather it on the ribs. It's been an hour, time for a peek. We got some action, Jackson. You can see the color change in the meat. They're starting to shrink up a little bit, and it's the perfect time to glaze it. Voila. Those look outstanding. Nice and sticky, almost shellac, like I could touch the rib and no sauce on my finger. That's how you know it's nice, shellac, sticky. When your finger comes off clean, those are done. This is gonna be good. That is a piece of Art. It doesn't have a smoke ring like the spare is, but look at how juicy it is. Nice. It just comes right off the bone. The peachy barbecue sauce is so good. You really get a lot of pork, but just the fruit and the peaches and the allspice, it just sings on your mouth. Wow, is that good.